Matthew Lyon came to America from Dublin, Ireland in 1765. He landed in Connecticut as an indentured servant. He became a redemptioner, a man who sells himself into slavery only to regain his freedom after working on his debt. started the militia in 1774, ostensibly to fight the British. Company, stand and hold. Right face. Forward, march. Your left, your left, your left, right, left, your left, go. Hear ye, hear ye. Elected to the House of Representatives before he was 30, he caused controversy on the House floor as a Republican. The Federalists take pride in being a team without stars, but it seems they may have to make some small allowances for their goaltender. The Federalist scum would have political infighting, mire all forward progress in this country. Mine is the voice of the common man, and I will fight for him. What are you gonna use, your wooden sword? Lyon was court-martialed for cowardice during the Revolutionary War and allegedly ordered to carry a wooden sword in battle. Federalist swine, I fought in the revolution and I was there. Me and my friends, the Green Mountain Boys, died on that plane. Matthew Lyon was later imprisoned for violating the Alien and Sedition Acts. In theory, the acts gave the government power to silence or deport traitorous rebels, but in practice, charges were leveled at Republicans exclusively. He continued writing for Republican papers. His imprisonment backfired, garnering him so much support that he was re-elected while in jail. His writings were almost always critical and severely biting. Many believe that the Sedition Act was a farce. The Sedition Act is a farce. Including fellow congressmen. Excuse me, Mr. Dickerson. How do you feel about the Sedition Act and the imprisonment of Matthew Lyon? I never doubted that the Sedition Act was a direct, open, unequivocal breach of the Constitution. He should be freed and fully refunded. And so he was. <laughs> Thank you.
やっぱり